satellite view of Stromboli's new eruption in Italy. You can see the lava river flowing to the sea. Mount Stromboli is one of the busiest volcanoes on the planet. It has been erupting continuously for thousands of years, and almost continuously since the early 1930s. So, it should come as no surprise that the ESA mission orbiting Copernicus Sentinel-2 captured its latest eruption. It uses infrared-sensitive instruments to map the flow and follow its path to the ocean. Stromboli stepped up its action Sunday morning, October 9, sending a large pyroclastic flow down the mountain. Right after that, the hardened lava, bench, from the previous flow collapsed. That revealed the fast-moving river of lava seen by the ESA satellite from space. Images from Sentinel-2 highlight the extremely hot lava flow as it descends from the mountain and into the sea. Lava flows currently run in a feature called Shara del Fuoco, flow of fire. This is the site where the ground collapsed about 5,000 years ago. The resulting scar provides a pathway for the lava to flow down the mountain. It remains an active area and is very dangerous. If it collapses again, the resulting tsunami could have far-reaching impacts on other islands in the region. Stromboli created its own island, which is part of the Aeolian island chain in the Mediterranean. It rises from a thousand meters below the surface of the Tyrrhenian Sea and rises about 924 meters above sea level. Stromboli are long-lived, it has been continuously active for at least 2,000 years, and ancient sailors used it as a lighthouse. That's because it erupts frequently. People could see the light from the explosion for miles in open water. They call it the Mediterranean Lighthouse. Stromboli is one of several volcanoes located along the Calabrian volcanic arc. Mount Etna in Sicily is part of that chain. These volcanic mountains are formed as the African tectonic plate is under, lowered, the Eurasian plate. The volcanic arcs are quite common throughout the world. There is one in the Pacific Northwest in North America that built Mount Hood, Mount Rainier, and Mount St. Helens, for example. That's where the Juan de Fuca, Explorer, and Gorda plates meet. The Pacific Ring of Fire also has volcanic arcs and active volcanoes thanks to subduction zones. The act of subduction provided Stromboli fuel for its eruption. It first started construction about 200,000 years ago, building an ancient volcano called Strombolicu. It eventually eroded away, and about 160,000 years ago, the current Stromboli began to erupt and form its island. The current mountain is a stratovolcano built up by near-constant eruptions. When Stromboli erupts, it follows a pattern that geologists call Strombolian. That means an eruption that started with a gas, snail, rising through the magma chamber on the mountain, through a channel to the surface. When the gases reach the surface, they explode and throw fountains of lava into the air. Over time, the bursts form a lava cone. Occasionally there will be pyroclastic flows, which are fast-moving clouds of gas and lava debris that slide down the mountain. Other mountains around the world also transmit similar, strombolian, streams, patterned after the famous name. Volcanic activity is one of several processes that alter the Earth's surface. ESA's satellites aren't the only ones tracking its activity. NASA's Advanced Spaceborne Thermal Emission and Reflection Radiometer on the Terra satellite also captured the scene in 2007. Ongoing space-based studies add to ground-based monitoring of this and other volcanoes to track how they change over time. For Stromboli and the several hundred inhabitants of this island, continuing the activity of risking life and property. The island is often rocked by earthquakes. It shows the movement of magma beneath the surface. The eruption itself can destroy homes and villages. For that reason, most of the population left the island, migrating to other islands. 